Hello, hello my friends, and welcome back to New Tiny Town. It's adorable, it's tiny. And today, what am I going to do today? What's my goal for today? I think just the continued growth. 10,000? Do we make the claim that we're going to go for 10,000 again? I don't know. We'll see. Hoping that everything goes smoothly. I've recently bit the bullet and did the upgrade to Windows 11, and the last time I did an upgrade seemed to break quite a bit in city skylines too. Oh my gosh, I just put a school down. Why did I do that? Yeah, broke a bunch of my city skylines to saves, which was pretty annoying. We're still on the one minute auto save. What was I going to do? We were going to build a farm. Is that what I was going to do? I need to change my UI color. Something to reflect our new Windows 11 existence. Dark teal? Why isn't it changing? Oh, hello. That's not dark red at all. How do I make this actually change? <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> oh, I see. So what do these actually, what do these change? If nothing. Background accent, white. I go black and white? That just makes it red. Whoa. Okay. That's cool. What if I do this? Oh boy. I don't think I like that. But, what if we do this? I don't know what primary accent even does. Oh, it's like font colors. There we go. It's Windows 11 time. That does feel a little bit appropriate. All right, what were we doing? We'll change it if it bothers me later. Don't you worry. Actually, that doesn't need to be the big one. In fact, I almost want it to just be dirt roads out in the farmland. Beautiful. And then, sure, why not? Let's wind this road and connect it up to the, the main road. We'll do it right there. Then maybe we'll do another one over here as well. Can I make sure we don't get a ghost farm? So we're not going to have any fiber farms for a while until those unlock. Sorry, my brain's not running at maximum capacity for some reason. I'm having a hard time thinking. Alright, let's get these farms rolling and then we can get our brain back to function. Can do this. I want to be able to put small homes in. Go around the lake. That's good enough. So far, this is coming along quite nicely. The areas next to these little lakes leaves a little bit to be desired. You know, I think it's good enough. Three little farms out here? What's happened here? There we go. It's actually four farms. If I knew how to count, I would have known that. Gonna sparsely fill this in with a few little houses near corners and wherever it looks like there might be somebody living that works out here in the farms. I don't know how many people these farms employ. There might be a lot. And then we can probably put just a handful of little stores out here. Little shops. You know, the people that live out here, they probably work those shops too. 30 people. Okay, well there's a lot of people working the farms. We could put some more houses out here for the people that work here. Out here on the rural route. We have a few homes here with slightly larger yards. Alright, that should be good for our city. Then what I might do over here is maybe some animal farms. Livestock, that is. And one of these can be massive. We don't need to have a bunch of small ones here. This one has one employee. They have no money. These Their balance is in the negative. But I think that's just because they're new. Alright. That is going to be good for the farms.
I feel like I want to expand these a little bit more, but not too much. Because all the traffic does funnel in from basically one little alley. You know, maybe it's okay for these to connect. Try and spread that traffic out a little bit before it even exists, really. Yeah, that's not perfect, but we did our best. You know what? That, that, that's actually fine for the size of the structures that we're going to be putting in anyway. So honestly, it is perfect. I feel like we're probably going to need some parking spaces over here. Oh good, that fits. Oh my gosh, we're a boomtown? Hello? Hello, boomtown. Alright, we'll let those buildings come into existence. And then, do we need to do any more tiny suburbs? Or are we fine for now? I think we're fine for now with the tiny suburbs. What is this, rock grinding? Look at that. 263 people employed here. That is a great place. That's not the one that I wanted. Look at that. Our uneducated aren't the most unemployed anymore. Oh, well, that's maybe something that we could look into doing. Get the college somewhere? Now, where would we put that? Where would we want that? There's barely anybody eligible to go. I feel like college would go probably over here for now. But we do have a livestock farm. Oh, we can do the libraries, but we don't need to do the other stuff yet. Can we do that here, too? Please don't be crashing. Oh, you're crashing, aren't you? Oh, you're crashing. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much we lost. You know, we've got the autosaves on for every 60 seconds, which... Thankfully is very quick, though. You don't even notice it. Alright, we're back. And you know what's great is... At most, we lost a minute. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Placing a library crashes my game? <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do because this high school is causing me some sort of grief. We're going to get rid of it. Just in case it's busted for some reason. We're going to place a new one. We're going to cross our fingers. We're going to build a library. And it's going to crash. Invalid shape. What if we turn on anarchy? Hey, everything's good. And that works. Our school is now functioning. Now we can put in the college that we were going to be putting in that apparently didn't get unlocked even because the game was busy crashing. And again, we're just going to plug in the library for this as well. We don't need the extra student space yet for either of these buildings. So that increase to education should start to unlock office demand. Maybe there's unoccupied industrial buildings. What does that mean? Oh yeah, there's still some with a lack of employees. Oh, they need well-educated employees. Okay, so that's a good thing that we got that college going then. Is there a reason why we shaped this like this? Does anybody remember? I don't. Maybe I was planning on putting some houses or something out here? Some industrial structures? Anyway, whatever Pastor Ox's idea was, I like mine better. Uh-oh. Well, there was nothing there anyway. It was just zoned. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's because this is a coal mine, isn't it? Yeah, that's not just for rocks. No, it is for rocks. No, it's for coal. Okay, that's why. We could just get rocks over here. Do we just get rocks anywhere? Right there we do, but that's not really that exciting. We could get more just rocks. I like the idea of people that work out here getting to drive or walk by the fence and seeing their workplace. I don't know why I like that, but I do. 132 people employed out here, 268. These roads might not actually be sufficient, although I don't see anybody really driving out there. I see delivery vehicles, but how do the people get there? Maybe they're walking, because I did see a bunch of people on foot over here. Yeah, maybe they just walk to work. Maybe it's too much of a pain for them to get to their car or something like that. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> we do have that realistic traffic, the uh, traffic reduction remover mod on, as you can see. <laughs> that is probably why there are so many cars parked here. Now, we could turn this road into something else. Put this stuff on the side. You know what the word is. Put the grass on it, and then that would force people to have to use the parking lots. Basically, ban curbside parking. Do we want to do that? I don't think so. You know, we've got these little places. we got the little suburbs, and that's where curbside parking doesn't exist. In fact, you know what? Let's get some European houses over here. Fill this in a little bit more. Make these streets feel a little bit more alive.
There we go. That does actually look a lot nicer. It's winter now. It's a rainy winter. It's not a really cold, snowy winter here. If we were to get down to street level, these are probably fun little suburbs. Oh yeah, these are adorable. Look at these little houses. And this is where it connects to the main road. But if you lived in here, you'd just be walking down these little lanes. No traffic lights, no nothing. And it comes to a little cul-de-sac. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And then this is the part that's a little bit more developed. Definitely larger apartments out here. Those will fill in very quickly, I think. And now we can probably get a few more of these. The demand for high density goes away so fast. Not a lot of people needing these low rent houses. But our population is going up. We are doing the good. This lot's filling up. We're not charging enough for it. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. You know, if I'm going to pay the upkeep for these things, somebody's going to pay to use them. Yeah, you know, I like these little developments out here. These are nice. What's going on over here? You don't want to live on the roundabout? This is a perfect house. I hate that you refuse to connect correctly. It is disappointing. That is incredibly disappointing. Oh yeah, I like these row houses too. The ones that go up on a cliff. That's pretty cool. And we got the school. The school's got its own parking lots. Don't get used though, do they? They get used by students maybe and there's just not enough? I don't know. Maybe teachers? Who knows? It's a mystery. It is a gloomy day. Oh my gosh, what happened over here? How did you end up on that side of the fence? Its owner is the landfill. Sure is. I wonder if we should make this place bigger. What does our production look like? Oh man. Yeah, we got lots of these. Everything that we've started to do, we have massive production of. More than we need. We are a pretty small town. What is happening here? Do, do we need a turning lane? We do. We'll put one in. We'll even give you a split phasing. How's that sound? We'll even give you an exclusive, uh... I can't. I was going to say... Oh, and vanilla. No. I can't give you the... Advanced left turns. That's okay. Alright, that's going to move traffic a little bit quicker, I think. I mean, we'll see. Is this truck in the way? <laughs> is that a problem? I don't think it is. It's just parked there. Oh, look, the college parking gets used. That's cool. Oh, wow, we've really increased the number of people eligible for college by putting in that library, I think, for the high school. Yeah, wow, this is this is busier than I thought it would be. Oh, you know why? It's because this is a two-lane road, and everybody's trying to get out of this complex here on a two-lane road. That is just something that we're going to have to deal with as Tiny Town, I think. But because everybody's going in one direction... We can at least give them a turning lane. That should hopefully get this moving a little bit quicker. I'm thinking almost maybe we need to turn one of these lanes into an exclusive turning lane. Exclusive right. And the other one exclusively left. Yeah, there we go. This way, because people can make their right turns on a red. So this guy's probably trying to turn left. He's just stuck there. Yeah. Okay. So that means that right lane will never be filled up with cars. Okay, we should almost have a second entrance into that area. A way to split the traffic off here. Do we go with four lanes? Or do we get these highways in? Tiny town, tiny roads, big traffic is what we're experiencing here. I'm thinking this road here that cuts through maybe should be four lanes. Or this one. Probably this one. I don't want to do too many, like, super big roads. If you know what I mean. It just doesn't feel like it vibes with the concept of Tiny Town, you know? I don't mind these traffic lights. And then... What do we do here? I'm thinking we let this go all the way back. What happened here? <laughs> it should have lined up perfectly. It did. I don't know how that got janky then. Maybe we leave it like that. 
There we go. We'll see what that does. But again, I don't know why I bought that. I thought I was going to do something fancy with the highway and then I just changed my mind. I mean, maybe I still can. Do you want to unlock highway intersections and put in a nice pre-built trumpet, maybe? Just to save time. How would this go? Like this? Partial cloverleaf, maybe? Maybe one of these little guys? <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Let's get rid of some of these roads. Oh. Okay. We'll crash. While I'm looking. I didn't even do anything. Welcome to Crashy City Skylines, too. Alright, let's try make this highway work one more time. I am going to go with just the simple teardrop, I think. Or single point interchange. Yeah, that's the one. We'll plug that in like this. Is that two or three lanes? That's three lanes. Alright, we'll let that. We'll work with that. <laughs> And then I think what we'll do here is we'll turn this into a little roundabout. Might make it a bigger roundabout. Might unlock roundabouts here. That seems big enough. I mean, we'll see if even any traffic comes through here. Lots of traffic going out. Also, some people are using this just to park. And then this gives us an option to expand out this way as well, with a slightly larger road. And their goal here is just to spread out this traffic. To encourage people to use the highway whenever they can instead of driving all through the city. Or to walk. I mean, I don't mind it when people walk. It's a pretty cool intersection, though. I like this. Good interchange. We might get rid of some of these crosswalks. We'll de it depends. We'll see if people start using them. Why are you walking in the rain? Marcia Oaks. There we go, looking good. I'm thinking we want buses. Yeah, I think buses are smart. I'm even going to put the bus depot right here on this big street leading to the interchange. We'll give ourselves a lot of new bus options. I think that'll work. Uh, we'll go with electric buses as well. How much money are we making or losing here? That's okay. And then let's do something interesting here. Let's see if we want to get people to work. One there, one there. And then a lot of these little areas here, I do want to give people a little bit of a convenient option. So one there, and then one here. That covers a lot. And then one here, one here. One there and one there. I mean, these are very convenient bus stops. Probably more convenient than they need to be. I'm just kind of placing these somewhat haphazardly for now as I think about where I want people to be able to access buses. Now if I was to make a route, what route would I do? How about the game just crashes as I look at the bus station? All right. Welcome back to Crashy... whatever this game is. Uh, City Skylines 2. <laughs> Let's get the last of these bus stops in. And then I want to put in a bus depot. Please don't crash while I'm looking. Because I want the depot to basically be a hub. Alright. Please let me create a bus route. I want this one to be one that goes into all of these little areas. Do we go here first? Doesn't really matter. This one's kind of the go through the suburbs and pick everybody up bus route. <laughs> you know what? It goes out to these as well. Then completes the route. Perfect. Second route. This is the one that goes to all of the businesses. Industrial specifically. This one's going to be yellow. It's a bit of a weird route. It's, it's not very efficient. I realize that some of the things that I set up are gone or missing. Some of the shelters. I thought I put some over here. I mean, there's just two. Maybe one here as well. 
I don't know, we'll set up more routes later. For now, this is fine. I'll bet all these buses are getting used. No, nope, 8 out of 65. That ain't so bad. It's still raining. It's still raining in Tiny Town. Just a little bit of rain. This place is packed. This place is packed. This place is packing. It shall be packed. We could always just squeeze another one or two in here. Because we are going to put some more places in here for people. But first, I see that we have some industrial or some office demand. I don't mind squeezing it in here. No, there wasn't that much. Okay, fair enough. Alright, this is crashing. You know what? <laughs> I think it's time for me to take a break from this before I lose my mind. If you've been enjoying this, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment. Let me know how you think New Tiny Town is going. And of course, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and putting up with all these crashes. I appreciate you being here, and I hope I see you again soon. Goodbye for now.